recipe we're going to be making today came from the Dexter Bulletin 2019 number one and it's for um, squeaky cheese or cheddar cheese curds. This is a really awesome recipe. We're going to start with a roaster and three gallons of milk. It will take us about six hours to make this cheese, although most of it we're just waiting for. So make sure you have a block of time you're going to be around when you're ready to make your cheese. I'm going to start by putting a couple cups of water in the bottom of my roaster. I've already strained the cream off the top of this, so I have three gallons of milk. I'm just going to pour this milk into my roaster. Now we're going to heat this to 85 degrees. Your roaster might be different than mine. We want it to take about an hour. We don't want this to happen too fast. So we want it to take about an hour to do this. So I'm just going to turn it to what I'm guessing is about 150 or so. Then I'm going to get my thermometer and put in it and watch it. Because I don't want it to increase in temperature too quickly. going to want to check it about every five or ten minutes. Just stir it gently. still have about 45 minutes left and my milk is already to 73. So I know that it's heating too quickly. So I'm going to turn it down almost to off. Just barely leave it on and stir it every five or ten minutes. There's my beeper. My milk's now 85 degrees, so I'm going to turn it off. This is my MA11 starter. I keep it in the freezer until I need it. And I'm just going to sprinkle one fourth teaspoon on top of this. And then stir it in for about a minute. Okay, this is set for 45 minutes with the culture in there. And I'm gonna add the rennet. This is three-fourths teaspoon of liquid animal rennet dissolved in one-fourth cup of cold water. And I am going to stir it in here for about one minute. Okay, now I just need to let this sit for 45 minutes or until it's a jello-like consistency. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. I'm now going to check for a clean break. You need a nice sharp edge when you break it. And see how it's too soft? That means I need to let it sit until I get a little bit cleaner break. So I'm going to give it about another 10, 15 minutes and right, try it again. Can you see when I pull my finger up? See how that edge was straight? Let's try again here. Show them that. See how it shows that sharp, defined edges? That's clean break. Okay, then you need to cut the curds. We're gonna do that by cutting in about half inch squares all the way to the pan. And you'll go the opposite direction.
Okay, now the curds are cut, we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Okay, the curds have rested for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to gently stir the curds. If by chance you see a great big one float to the top, you can cut it. Now I want to bring the temperature now up to 108. I'm setting my timer here. My thermometer says I'm at 77 and I want it to take about an hour. I'm going to turn it on as low as it'll go. Okay, it's time to stir again. Gently stir the curds. You can see that they're starting to lose some of their liquid. They're just getting more liquid. That's what we want here as we slowly heat the curds. Some of them are trying to stick together as they get warm. You can see the curds are starting to lose, lose a little bit more moisture. It's starting to become a little firmer. Time to stir again. You can see the curds are starting to kind of knit together and that's why we stir them to kind of keep them apart. Okay, stirring again. You can see they're starting to knit together. We're almost done. I've just got about three more degrees to go. Oh, I've reached 108 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the strainer and start the cheddaring process. Okay, I'm going to get the curds now out of here. Put them in my strainer. See, I've got a cloth in here. It's in my strainer, and I've got it set into a pan. Okay, I'm gonna catch all the curds I can. You can see I have way in the bottom of my pan. Colander's going to go in the pan. I'm just going to kind of wrap this up. Now we're going to put this on the stove and we're going to heat the way to 110, which isn't much more because it was 108 when I turned it off. Okay, I'll let this sit for 15 minutes at 110, then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do that four times. This is called the cheddaring process. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. So I'm going to take the cloth here that's got my cheese in it, just turn it over, set it back in the pan, put the lid back on here, and set the timer again for 15 more minutes. And I'm just going to pick it up, you can see it's kind of draining, flip it over, put the lid back on. Okay, one last time. And let it continue to check. Turn this over four times. Now it's time to take my cheese out. into cubes now and salt it and enjoy.
sprinkle it with kosher salt. And I'm going to let it drain for about 10 minutes before I bag it up and put it in the fridge. You can see it's still a little bit wet. The squeak will last for a couple of days and it gets not so squeaky, but the cheese should last in your fridge for a week or so. And it's a great snack. Hope you enjoy.